Hi everybody, so glad you could join us for this paint night with the library. My name is Rachel, I'm from Epic, and I'm going to show you guys how to do a sugar skull painting. So, uh, the things you'll need are mostly in your bag, uh, your paints that you've got, and you should have a large brush and a small brush. Uh, we'll be using both uh, for this project today. The other things you're going to need are a paper towel, a cup of water to rinse off your brush, um, and for this one we're also going to use a pencil. So we'll give you a second to get those things together and we'll get started. Alright, so for the first thing we're going to do for our sugar skull is we're going to trace out the um, shape for our skull. Alright, now we're going to just do a basic outline in pencil uh, just to give us a reference as we move forward to paint. Um, I'm going to draw my lines a little bit darker so you guys can see them well in the video, but you want to keep your pencil lines pretty light so you can cover over them uh, with the paint after it and you don't have to do a lot of erasing. Alright, so for the shape of our sugar skull, um, we're going to start um, near the top here, and again I'm going to keep mine dark so you can see but you want your lines to be pretty light. <clears throat> um, for the shape of our skull, just like you can see in this one here, we're going to go around uh, like we're starting to make a circle. So I'm going to start from the top and do a nice rounded kind of shape. And I'm going to go almost to the edges on mine, um, leaving a little space for some designs and stuff around afterward. But it's going to take up most of our canvas. So I'm going to go around Like I'm starting to make a circle and then I'm going to stop a little over halfway through. Okay, so from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add these shapes for the cheekbones. Um, really simple, all we're going to do is we're going to curve out from our circle and make a curved kind of point for our cheekbones. There are all different ways that you can make these shapes. Um, so don't worry if yours aren't as pointy as mine, <laughs> um, or if they have a slightly different shape. That's just to get the idea of the cheekbones there. Okay, from here, we're going to do uh, this shape that goes in toward the chin. So we're gonna keep following this curve that we started with our cheekbones. And we're gonna curve down and then let it curve out a tiny bit. And I'll show you what I mean. So we'll curve in and then go back out the tiniest bit um, to get to the base of our chin. And as you can see on mine, um, I kind of curved around the edges, but it mostly comes to a point for the chin. So I'm gonna go out a little bit, go down to a curved kind of point for the bottom of my chin, and then curve back around. Super simple, that's the basic shape of our sugar skull. Uh, yours may look uh, a little um, different um, in proportions, um, but there are so many different um, kinds out there. So whatever you've got, it's good to go. All right, for our next step, we're going to need our black paint. Um, we're going to fill in the black outside of our skull first to give that plenty of time to dry, um, and then we can uh, start drawing in our designs on the inside while that paint is drying. So I'm going to take my large brush, I'm going to go ahead and dip in the black paint, and I'm going to follow my outline. Now I'm going to overlap my pencil lines a little bit, that way they don't show. If you have any pencil lines afterward, you can simply erase them or go over them with your white paint. But I'm going to follow my curve. I'm going to keep this paint as thin as possible just to let it dry quickly. Um, but again, I'm going to cover over all that background following the shape that I made.
and I'm going to fill in the rest of my background with the black. Again, keeping it as thin as possible while still covering everything on my canvas. Alright, so what you should have at the end is uh, the whole background black, uh, leaving just the white on your skull shape. Alright, I'm going to rinse off my black brush really well and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so for our next step, we are going to start adding the shapes for the eyes and the mouth and the different patterns that make these sugar skulls so unique. So. Back to our pencil, we're going to trace out a couple designs. Keep in mind that your black paint is most likely still very wet, so um, we're not drawing on top of that right now, but just watch your hand as you, as you draw these shapes. So what we're going to start with is these eye shapes here, um, and we're going to do this inside that you can see is a solid black. Um, now notice on mine, I, I didn't make them perfect circles. Uh, you certainly can, um, you can make them kind of whatever shape you want, but I went with a kind of circular shape um, that was a little bit, um, I don't know, a funky circle shape. <laughs> but I went with a kind of circular shape um, that, but I went with a kind of somewhat round shape, but not a perfect circle. So to do that, we're going to go... Um, you know, right where, right above our cheekbones here is where we're going to uh, put our eyes. So I'm going to start um, a little bit in so I have room on the outside here. And I'm going to make, again, doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I made a kind of not perfect circle shape on mine. And both of mine are a little bit different. So I'm gonna do that side and then same with the other side. And again, it doesn't matter if your shapes are a little bit um, different from each other or different from mine. Just a roughly round shape to give the idea for the eye sockets. I'm gonna cheat mine in a little bit here just to give enough space in the middle uh, to be able to do my patterns around the eyes. Um, and just be careful if you do erase anything, like I did, uh, not to get those eraser shavings uh, in your paint. Okay, from there uh, we're going to go ahead and do the nose shape as well, the hollow of the nose that is also black. Now I'm just going to do an upside down heart. Uh, you can do it just kind of rounded on the bottom, it's up to you. But either way, we're going to start a little bit below our eyes. Start with a kind of point on the top, um, just to have it look like that skull <laughs> um, appearance. And we're going to do an upside down heart. All right, there's the shape for our nose. Last thing we're gonna go ahead and draw a shape before we do the um, patterns is we're going to do the jaw and teeth lines and shape. So, uh, notice how this one I started a little below the cheekbone, but I followed the curve uh, of the um, um, side of the, f the skull a little bit um, with the start of the, the jaw, the smile. Um, and then we're going to come across uh, for where our teeth are going to go and go back up. 
I dipped mine down a little bit. Mine looked like a skeletal smile. Uh, you can go straight across if you'd like or give it a kind of different expression. Um, but either way, we're going to start with that line uh, that goes across the middle. So again, I'm going to start a little bit below my cheekbones. I'm going to follow the curve of my line until I'm about halfway between this point and this point. I'm going to do that on both sides of my skull and kind of follow that curve. They should be about the same. Um, and then we're going to go across. So again, I'm going to start in one. I'm going to go down a little bit to a point and then again, kind of curved and then go back up to my other one. That gives the base of our jaw and then we can add the teeth on from there. Um, so what I did was I did curved teeth on the top. Um, so I just started with a kind of rounded, almost tombstone shape, I guess you could call it. <laughs> um, and I did two of those about the same on either side. And then I made them get a little bit smaller as I went down. And I did the same exact thing on the other side. Just like that. Now on the bottom, I kind of flattened out my teeth uh, on the um, bottom teeth a little bit. But again, you can do them round exactly like you did the top. Um, it won't make too much of a difference, but I liked to flatten mine out a little bit. So what I did was I just followed the line down from the center and kind of made a flat, flatter curved tooth on the bottom. And I'm going to match up basically exactly how I did my teeth on the top like a mirror image, except I flattened them out a little bit. And again, I'm gonna do that on both sides. When you're done, you should have some kind of shape like this. Again, with a layer of teeth along the top and a layer of teeth along the bottom. Um, so you see your jaw, you see your nose cavity, and your eye cavities. All right, so from there, once you've got the basic face features there, your eyes, your nose, your jaw, and teeth, um, we're going to trace in a couple of our main designs that we want for our sugar skull. Um, I didn't draw out each and every little pattern and design that I put on mine, but I did with the, the bigger ones, like the flower on the top and the sides here. Um, and I even sketched where I wanted these diamonds to go. Get creative with what you want to do for the pattern on these. I'll show you guys how to do a flower like I did on the top of mine. Um, and yeah, I'll probably put some diamonds on the bottom similar to what I did with this one. Uh, but there's so many things out there. Um, some sugar skulls I've seen just have different swirls of color all around um, and different kind of patterns. So a lot of what you see, um, similar to like a Zen Tangle or um, even Henna or something like that, um, are a lot of repetitive patterns. So you'll see these, you know, bumps that go around um, the eyes that follow a pattern and the dots on the inside. Um, even when I did the flowers, you know, the dots kind of on the outside. Some kind of repetitive patterns um, give it that, um, yeah, that sugar skull look. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do a few designs. Again, feel free to do whatever kind of design comes to mind. Um, we'll sketch those out and then we'll get started with the painting. Okay, so to do a basic flower shape like I did here, um, I'm just going to start on the top um, and do a half circle. That'll be my center color. And then I'm going to do these curved petals that come out. Um, you can do petals kind of any way that you like, but um, a fun way that I like to design them is to start with a curve. And then on the other side, uh, have my petal go out and in and then meet. Almost like a raindrop or a yin yang <laughs> kind of shape. Like that. And then what I do is keeping the same exact kind of shape, um, I continue them all around again in a pattern. Um, but I start overlapping a little bit. 
so this part would overlap with this petal and then curve all the way to the center and again with my next petal curve around and then this one will just go off the top of my skull there and again on the other side curved out again giving that teardrop kind of shape but keeping them overlapping and then again my last petal will go off the edge Now I did the same kind of shape for these small flowers that you see on either side. Um, just obviously I made the, the pattern a little bit smaller. So I did a smaller circle for the center. Um, I'll show you a way that you can do a different kind of pedal, pedal um, if you're interested in trying something different. So another way that I do petals a lot of times is I come out and just go to a point without adding that curve. And it's just the shape of different kind of flat flowers. I still overlap my petals a little bit. Because on most flowers they do overlap a little. Just like that. As for other shapes, you can see on here I did more of a kind of star coming out from a circle on the cheekbones. Um, I think it is fun to have something there. But I wanted to change it up a little bit from the flowers and I did just these kind of straight points like it was coming out from a star. There will be plenty of designs that we add just with our paint afterward. Um, so if you're not quite sure what you want to do yet, you can welcome to just put down what you know you want and then have fun with it with the paint uh, once you've got that set. So the last one I'm going to show is I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and trace my kind of curved diamond shapes for the bottom. So I started with one right here at the base of the chin. And again, I made mine kind of curved but I did a triangle in the middle there. And then, then had them get slightly smaller as they went out from the center. Like that. Now again, when I got to the painting step, I did a color on the outside and a color on the inside, which I like. Uh, this is just to get the idea of kind of where we want some of those main elements of our uh, sugar skull to go. And then we'll, um, yeah, have fun uh, putting all kinds of color and pattern on. All right, pencils away, ready for paint. All right, now for adding color. Now my background is um, starting to get dry, which is great. Still gonna kind of <laughs> be careful as I paint around um, so my hands don't get covered in black and I don't mix that in with everything else. Uh, but again, we're gonna uh, be painting on the inside of our skull, so you shouldn't be painting on top of any wet paint right now. So, now I'm going to go to my smaller brush. Um, you guys should each have a pretty small detail brush in there um, for doing these uh, smaller pieces of the, of the skull. I'm going to pick a color to do the pattern around my eyes. I'm going to show this, um, I see this pattern on a lot of sugar skulls, um, so I'm going to do a, a pattern like that around um, and then move on to our other pieces. So whatever color you'd like to go, I'm going to do red on this one, change it up a little bit. What I did um, was I went around following this edge that I made with the pencil and I made just simple curves just bouncing around the whole shape
And I'm gonna fill it all in, following that inside line that I painted. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, I'm going to keep going with my red paintbrush and I'm going to do the outside of my diamonds down here uh, because I want them to have the red color. Um, so I'm just going to do the outside right where I sketched with my pencil. And then I'm going to rinse off my brush and uh, move on to the next piece. For my nose shape, I did the similar uh, pattern with the bumps that go around, um, but I'm going to switch to a different color for that. So I'm going to switch to my orange. And this time kind of do dots that go all around to make these um, bumps look a little bit smaller. And that's the shape uh, going around the outside of my nose. The other thing I'm going to do in orange is the petals for my flower. Uh, so for the petals, I'm going to start by just filling in these shapes that I drew. Notice you lose some of your lines that you did for the overlapping petals. That's okay, we're going to go in at the end with black and outline all of those shapes. I am also going to do orange coming out from 
my star shapes. And from here, we're having fun with our patterns. You guys are gonna be using all different colors. Um, no matter what you want to use for color is totally fine. Um, I'm just showing you how I fill in all these parts. Just be sure to rinse off your brush really well each time between colors and dry off on your paper towel um, so you don't get those colors mixing. I'm going to fill in the petals on this flower now and I'm going to do that with yellow. Alright, and you'll notice on mine I did uh, the same color on either side for both of these things. Um, just to keep going with that uh, feeling of symmetry and, and pattern. Uh, but you're welcome to do different colors um, and mix it up a bit. I am also going to fill in the inside of my orange flower up top. Being careful not to mix that with the orange paint that's still wet. But it doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way to the edge anyway, we're going to outline all that in black. And I'm also going to do the inside of my diamond shapes here. Alright, by now we should have plenty of different uh, colors, bright colors and elements coming in. Um, turning our sugar skull into uh, what it's going to be. Um, the other bit I'm going to do in color that we're also going to outline um, in black um, is you'll notice on the teeth, um, I outlined them in black, but I also did this color around the edge. Now you can wait and do that until after you do the black, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do mine now. Um, that way I can kind of do as many colors as I'm gonna do beforehand and then just outline everything in black after. So for this, I'm going to take my green because I haven't used that yet. And I'm gonna go just above all these curves that I made for my teeth. And do the same, but going below on the bottom. Another thing I'm going to do with my green uh, is just like I did here. Um, now this is where it goes into pattern similar to like Zentangle if you've done that, or again, Henna, um, kind of uh, repeating out from a pattern. I know this especially because we're kind of coming out from a circle. Um, but I'm going to do these little curved shapes coming out from um, uh, my eyes. So starting in the middle of one of the bumps that are red here. I'm gonna do just a little arced shape and I'm gonna do shapes like this all the way around. Now you can do dots, you can do um, stripes coming out, you can do stars, you can do so many different kinds of things and you know um, looking at different uh, Zentangle designs and stuff like that uh, too can get you really inspired uh, for some different things to try. Now in these areas where I'm running into another pattern that I've made, I'm just going to kind of go around it. And kind of stop when I get to another color. But still leave little bits 
of that color to give the idea for the repeated pattern. And on the inside here, I'm just going to do it as little dots, since I can't really do curves around anyway. With my green, I'm going to add a couple swirls on the top here. that I haven't drawn in, and this is where you can just have some fun adding in some simple patterns. I'm not gonna add a whole lot more because I'm gonna do my black outlines, um, as well as some extra uh, dots with the black. But I'm also gonna take my green and I'm going to do um, some dots on the inside of my yellow flowers here. And I'm going to do green for the inside of my orange star shape. Okay. So this about fills in uh, the color that I'm going to do, at least to start with. Uh, the next step of my process, I'm going to outline everything that I did in black. Um, now, the one thing with this is you're going to want to make sure that your paint from your colors is really dry before you add on your black outlines. Otherwise, your black paint will just turn all of your colors muddy gray, <laughs> which we don't want. So, um, we're going to want to make those, make sure those are really, really dry before we do our outlines. Um, and I'll take it step by step um, to show you kind of the best things to start with. Uh, while you're making sure your colors dry. So the shape that I'm going to start with with my black um, is I'm going to fill in the eye holes and the nose holes because those I can do without actually touching um, the paint even if it's still um, not quite dry. So I'm going to go around the edge, going right up to my red. Now the edge of my red is dry, so I'm going to go just right next to it um, to do this whole shape. And again, I'm going to do that for both. I'm going to go around the edges. And fill in all the way with my black. I'm going to do the same thing for my nose shape down here. Now my orange still is a bit wet. So I'm just going to be careful not to drag my black through my wet orange paint. The other thing that is probably dry enough for you to go ahead and do is the black um, for your teeth. If you need to give this more time to dry, don't worry. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, these steps and then you can wait and make sure yours are really dry before you start. So this line that I did in pencil.
I'm going to follow with my black. And also doing each of the colors for, or each of the curves for my teeth. The other thing that I outlined in black was the um, outside of the shape, uh, the red shapes that go around uh, my eyes. So I'm going to do that with black and then also do these black dots in the middle like you see on here. Now mine is dry enough to do this with. Again, wait till yours dries uh, to, to go over any paint um, that's wet. Uh, but I didn't go all the way to the center with my black, I just went around to make the shape stand out. And aside from the outlining, I did these dots in the center of each as well. All right, almost there for our outlining. Uh, the last bit that I outlined was outside of my star shapes and my flowers, as well as adding some little curved lines and dots. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill those in and we're almost there. All right, the outlines are set. The last thing I did with my black was some different curved lines and some dots at some different points.
Okay, so that is the gist of our sugar skull. Now, uh, the last part for the actual skull that you can do is adding on any other swirls or little colors that you want to do. Notice on this one, on the inside of each of these um, curved shapes that I did, I did red dots around the inside. I also did some yellow dots on top of each tooth. Again, anything to kind of create a pattern uh, and keep that going. I also did some swirls around uh, my flowers and stuff here, which I kind of did dots instead on this one. Um, but you can add in any other, you know, colors and, and patterns like that that you want. The last step on mine, uh, which you guys are probably going to want to wait and do um, kind of on your own time once everything has dried, uh, is I did, just like I did uh, for the skull, I added on whatever kinds of background colors and shapes and patterns I wanted to make. If you want to leave it just as a black background, um, <clears throat> that totally works too. Um, if you want to do something else in your background, um, you can do that. I did the same uh, kind of flower shapes and then these curved vines around. Again, you'll see a lot of what I did in the background uh, is similar to what I did on the actual skull. So curves and patterns, um, diamond shapes, um, the dots and, and stuff like that. But you guys can have fun and uh, create whatever kind of designs you want in your background once your black is fully, fully dry. So that's about it. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us for these paint nights. Um, and yeah, be sure to check out what the library has upcoming for you guys. And happy Halloween!